According to Webster's New World Dictionary, a rogue is either a rascal, scoundrel or a fun-loving, mischievous person. Obviously, the folks at Nissan don't think of their rogue as a rascal or a scoundrel. But fun-loving and mischievous don't really apply, either. Redesigned for the 2014 model year, the Rogue is Nissan's entry in the rapidly expanding compact crossover derby. It's comfortable, bigger than some of its competitors, and nicely turned out within, plus it earned top safety ratings with the major testing bodies and is almost totally devoid of driver gratification. Some of the solid foundations are taken from the Sentra sedan, with the addition of available all-wheel drive, elevated ride height, bigger dimensions, more interior volume, and the option of three-row seating. Unlike its subcompact cousin, the Juke, there's no hot rod Nismo variant. There is just one rogue powertrain, a 2.5-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder 170 horsepower, 175 lbft of torque paired with a continuously variable automatic transmission, Stronic CVT, in Nissan speak. Changes have been minor since our 2014 test and the Rogue still stacks up as bland, although its 2015 sales totaled 287,190, nearly 88,000 more than the previous year and second only to the Altima among all Nissans. What's new? The Rogue's sheet metal, interior, and powertrain carry into 2016 unchanged. However, there are additions to its array of safety and infotainment features. Nissan has expanded the capabilities of its Nissan Connect telematics system, and Siri Eyes Free was added to the top SL trim level. SL models now offer the option of forward emergency braking. On the cosmetic front, there's a new appearance package with side mirror turn signal repeaters and chrome door handle trim for the basic Rogue S. What we like, the Rogue is stylish on the outside and attractive inside with comfortable seats, decent materials, and a goodly array of available comfort, convenience, and connectivity features. The second row seats adjust 9 inches fore and aft, there's ample cargo space in five passenger models, and controls are readily identifiable no mysteries, no tedious rummaging through the owner's manual. Also, the center stack includes actual knobs for tuning the radio and making HVAC adjustments. Thank you. Nissan. The suspension tuning is relaxed, and ride quality is supple. EPA fuel economy estimates are competitive with class favorites like the Mazda CX-5, the Honda CR-V, and the Toyota RAV4. What we don't like, Nissan has advanced the concept of the CVT, but at wide open throttle this one is still occasionally reminiscent of a slipping clutch. The pace that goes with this is languid, at just under 9 seconds to 60 miles per hour. The downside of creamy ride quality is lots of body motion when the driver attacks a set of corners, exacerbated by electric power steering that's nicely weighted but nevertheless vague. Oddly enough, once the suspension settles after turning into a corner, the rogue can be flogged with confidence. That may be its dynamic forte, but few if any owners are likely to experience it. Then there's that third row seat. If you find yourself relegated to a rogue's third row, it's time to call Uber.